In today's show, we will be learning more about Miss Fike, Miss Simino, a stand up with Miss Noble, and Miss Marshbank. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Savannah. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. We have a few new teachers around the building. Let's go learn more about one. I went to school at Wellington High School, and um, which is south of Wichita, and I graduated from Pittsburgh State University. Miss Spikes was really inspired to become a teacher right. because of her mom. So this is Miss Spikes' first classes. year teaching ever, but she is a fifth generation teacher in her family. Chemical? and physical. Eventually, I would we like to get my master's in facts, school. possibly educational psychology. A lot of the theories and uh, things that you learn in facts also go with educational psychology. I chose to teach facts um, because eight, it's so eight, relevant eight, to eight, everyday eight, life eight, and everyone needs to have these eight, skills to be able to function as an adult. When Ms. Fike isn't in the classroom, she's involved in many other activities around Seaman High. Sponsor of FCCLA here and I do color guard as well. For fun, Miss Fikes likes to do other things than just grade papers. I like to bake and walk my dog and swim. Seaman High isn't the only thing Miss Fike is new to. I moved to Topeka a month ago, so I'm relatively new, but I did that because of my niece and nephews, and they're all in the Seaman District, so that's why I really wanted to work for here. Um, I have a dog who I talk about all the time, and she's almost 14 years old, so she is pretty old. Make sure to give Miss Fike so a warm welcome happened? when you see her in the hallways. Like Cherry Sprite, hands down. Oklahoma Sooners, Harry Potter. Probably my mom's homemade chicken noodles. I hate when people chew too loudly. Make sure to welcome Miss Fike. St. Francis Campus is starting a medical explorers class that begins Monday, September 23rd from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Look on Schoology or see your counselor for more information. If you are interested in traveling to Boston, New York, or Italy, there will be a meeting September 7th at 6 p.m. in the library. Please see Mr. McAllister for further information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. Noble and she's here to talk about the new program she's introducing this semester. So what is the new program? Okay, so you know me as the student internship coordinator that works with seniors and I wanted to expand the program a little bit and have something that would reach more of our students at the high school. So I came up with this job shadow opportunity that anyone at Seaman High School can apply. In my mind, I felt that, you know, we talk about what do you want to be, what do you want to do in life, and you guys are working on career cruising during CLP time, trying to figure out what you want to do, but there's really no real world um, application to this. So I thought if I could offer students an opportunity to leave school and actually explore that career in action, um, that would be a really wonderful opportunity for our students. So um, I created this job shadow experience. It's a two to four hour visit where I pair you up with a mentor, a career mentor in a field that you're interested in exploring. And so you would go leave school, go to that place of business and um, kind of see firsthand. You follow the employee, you follow the manager, you follow the owner, whomever it, it would be. And um, you get to ask them questions about the career and learn more about the career. And then you can come back and tell me, wow, I really enjoyed this. I'm going to start to really uh, focus on this career as what I want to do after I leave high school or you know what I didn't really like that I'm gonna try something else later on down the line I'm really glad I had this opportunity because I thought I'd like it so that's really the purpose of the job shadow experience and it's open to second semester freshmen we're gonna let the freshmen kind of settle in as first semester but any sophomore junior or even seniors that are interested in kind of pursuing or exploring a career, you need to come and apply to, for this because it's really a, a fabulous opportunity. Um, if you're interested in seeing what 
a lawyer does, if you're interested in seeing what a, me a mechanic does, if you're interested in seeing what a zookeeper does, a vet, any of those types of careers, you know the careers that I'm talking about, a pharmacist, I don't know if I said that already, but um, I, can, I can provide that job shadow opportunity for you. And how do you apply? Okay, so if you go on my website, Seaman, it's www.seamanschools.org forward slash student internship, there's a link that says job shadow. And when you click on that link, there are like five or six steps that you have to go through before you're ready to actually job shadow. But um, we're limiting one job shadow experience per semester. And we're also limiting the months you can do a job shadow. We want you to do the job shadow in the months of September, October, or November, because those are three good months that employees are there. Christmas break is, you know, not a really good time to send somebody to a business. Um, and then when we come back, second semester, you can job shadow during the months of February, March, and April. So that's kind of how I'm setting it up. We're piloting this program this year to see what kind of interest we'll have. Um, if you have questions, come see me. My office is in the Career and Life Planning Center, and I'm kind of hidden, but I think you can find me. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I, I just really want you to take a look at the website. It kind of really um, outlines what you need to do if you're interested in doing this. And I would just encourage all students to consider doing some type of job shadow at least once or twice during your time in high school because it's it will really show you what the working world is like. Okay, thank you. Now back to your anchors. Check Schoology for more information. A representative from Kansas City Art Institute will be presenting in Mr. LaDuke's room today from 1255 to 135. Students interested in information about KCAI are welcome to attend. The speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles per hour. Picture day will be September 16th to, and the 17th during English classes. Seniors, if you do not have an English class, please see Mrs. Riley in C2 to schedule your pictures. Are you interested in trying out for a scholarship? Let's go to Allie for more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Ms. Marshbank to talk about the Scholars Will tryouts. So what's included in this tryout process? So to try out, we're going to be in my room, room 920, and there will be timed questions where you have to just answer questions in a style that's similar to Scholars Bowl. Okay, so when will these take place? These are going to happen on September 9th and 10th from 7.15 to 7.45 a.m. in the morning, and you only have to come to one of the days. Okay, awesome. Make sure and try it if you're interested. Now back to your anchors. I'm here. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Marshbank. If you are interested in becoming a student advisory council, please see Schoology, please see your, your class of Schoology page. Before we head over to sports, here's a quick commercial break. Why are you late, man? Sorry, I was signing up for clubs, like foreign language club. And I'm really happy about this club. And then? I signed up for fishing club. And then? Oh, uh, and then I signed up for book club. And then? Next, I signed up for our club. And then? And then I became a family leader joining FCCLA. And then? Finally, I joined Dungeons and Dragons Club. And that's not even half of the clubs. There's so many you can join. Blue Out is a spirit club theme for Friday's football game at home against Highland Park. Congratulations to the Lady Vikings golf team on their third place team finish yesterday in Emporia. Congrats to Jade Thomason, Thomas, Aspen Burkhart, and Madison Hardesty for individually meddling. Congrats to soccer for the first win last night in overtime. Let's head back over to Madison. Mrs. Simino is a new teacher at Seaman High School. Here's a story about her. Miss Simino is a new teacher in the math department. Let's go learn more about her. Before teaching at Seaman High School, I taught at Seaman Middle School for a year before my husband and I moved to Oklahoma and we taught there for five years. Um, both places I've taught eighth grade math and algebra one. Here at Seaman, I am teaching math 2A and math 3. You guys can kind of just guess what it's going to be. 
We came back to Seaman because it's home to both of us. I'm from Topeka, I'm a Seaman grad, and I was excited to get back here. There's my DOG. The thing I enjoy most about teaching is being involved with the kids, getting to know my students, and having fun in the math classroom. Awesome. That's all we have for today, Mike. Tomorrow we have a story on Mr. Vinnett. Have a great day.